Hey guys, Fugu here, and today's tutorial is about 100 Finance. It's a borrowing and lending platform. It's actually a fork of Compound, but where it differentiates itself is that they aim to be at 100 different blockchains. So that's where the name comes from, 100 Finance. And as part of that, one of their main goals is to have both multi-chain borrowing and lending. So lend on one chain, borrow on a different one, and also multi-chain governance. So in short, they are really trying to position themselves for a multi-chain future. Another thing I should mention is that they got an awesome team, including the legendary VFAT of VFAT.tools. If you're a DeFi DGen, you definitely know who he is. Hey, VFAT. Hey, Fugu. Let's do this. So unfortunately, right now, it is not available on 100 blockchains. It's available on three, but more soon to come. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on Phantom, but if you click on it, you can see you could also do it on Arbitrum or Mainnet. Phantom is the cheapest of the three, so I'm going to do that one. Overall, the platform is pretty straightforward. You guys are probably familiar with this kind of setup if you've been in the DeFi ecosystem for some time. You got a list of assets you can supply and a list of assets you can borrow. The assets are pretty much all either stables or blue chips. So I expanded the list and you probably know every one of these if you've been in DeFi more than a couple weeks. So the supply APYs are not that high, except for the first two, which you see the start beside. That's because they're incentivized using the HND token, the 100 token, the native token of the platform. There is one important thing, though, to note about this incentivized APY is that if you're supplying a stable and getting that APY, you can't use it for borrowing. So, for example, you deposit your USDC and you can use it either for borrowing with or for farming with. This is to prevent the DeFi yield farming technique called folding. It's also the reason why they have no incentivized APY on borrowing. Guys, DeFi moves so fast. Pretty much in the middle of making this tutorial, they updated their website and their APRs and the incentivized coins. Now you can get an incentivized HND APY on DAI, on USDT, MIM, or USDC. Just to explain the APY here for a second, there's one thing you have to understand is that what's shown here is the fully boosted maximum. Now, every week there's a gauge vote, kind of similar to Curve, where the maximum rewards for each incentivized pool are determined. And for example, for this period, the maximum is 85.86 APR in HND rewards, but you could see the minimum is 34.35. What determines where you are on that range depends on your boost, which is determined by how much HND you are staking and for how long. That is done in the voting section, which I'll show you a bit later. If you want some more info about what's going on under the hood or how much you can borrow using each of the assets, you can go over to the dashboard section where it appears this is actually for the admin, but it gives you a lot more details like the collateral factor, how much is in each asset and so on. Anyhow, I'm going to go back to the dashboard and show you guys how I can supply my USDC and start farming for the HND rewards. Let's get to supplying our USDC. I got $100 of USDC. I'm going to click on it and supply. As I noted before, ignore the current APR on the screen. I recorded this just before the APR updates. The current range for USDC in HD rewards is 17.57 to 43.93 percent. I'm going to be supplying the 100 USD. I'm also going to fast forward the MetaMask stuff because it's boring to watch. So you can see it's going super speed. It's actually pretty fast because Phantom is a fast blockchain in the first place. When that goes through, you got to go over to the farm and you got to stake the tokens that you received. I believe it's called HUSDC. Why it's 4999, it has something to do with the compound model, but it's worth 100 USDC anyways. So I'm just going to put it in there and I'm going to stake it and then you start getting your rewards. So once again, ignore the APR where it says 0 to 0%. It's actually roughly 17% to 43%. And I'm going to explain how this boost thing works if you go over to the voting section. So this is kind of like a multi-chain curve where every week I believe there's a vote by the holders of VHND, which is state HND, to determine which pools get incentivized. So there is a voting section. The amount of voting power you get depends on how long you have your HND tokens locked up. I believe that also increases your boost level. Regarding that boost, we'll scroll down to the bottom past all this stuff to do with the gauge vote and the governance stuff. And you will find a list here of what's currently being incentivized. You can see their balance and how much votes they got in the last vote. If you hover over the APR tab, it will show you how much the max is of this epoch and then how much is going to be for the next one. The next one hasn't been determined yet. That's why it's at zero, zero. 
and on the right side, it will show you your own personal calculation, your balance, how much boost you have, and what APR you have for this epoch, and then what you have for the next one. Once again, I believe your boost is determined by the amount of HNG you have, how long it's staked for, and its value in relation to your stable coins. So the reason you don't see my $100 in there is because I re-recorded this section after the APRs changed after the new epoch vote happened. Anyways, if you've got any more questions, head over to the 100 Discord. They'll be totally happy to help and answer all your questions. Really cool team. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.